Good evening, afternoon, good morning. Today we're going to work with the bottle of beer song. And here we have it typed out. So, um, show us the line numbers here. So here we start out with an integer, and we're seeing that as bottles, and we start at 99, because that's how many bottles are in the sum. And we set the word bottles. This will become important later. Well, bottles is greater than zero, because at zero, the sum is over with. We not only will the sum end, but the loop will end. So we're going to put it in a while loop. And we're going to format some strings. D is an integer, S is a string. And then we do that by system.out.printf. So we're going to let me pass in the the values over here. So we're going to put the number of bottles, word bottles, or bottle, as we'll see a little bit later. And we will continue on of beer on the wall. Um, repeat that again. 99 bottles of beer. You take one out, you pass it around, and then we subtract one from the bottle. If it is one, it needs to be a singular. If it is zero, it needs to be a plural. And then we, of course, print out how many bottles are now left. If it goes from 99, it goes down to 98. So, you know, simple enough. Let's go ahead and run this program, and you will see there it is. And that kind of went by a little bit quickly. Let's put a thread sleep in here of 500 milliseconds. And of course, we need to add our safe stuff. Let's run it again. Now it's a little bit slower. You can you can kind of see it better. So that is doing um, doing that. Now, what if? I have an extra space in there. Let's uh let's fix that here. Where's my stop? Right there. So we just need to Yes, right here. Add a um, new line character. So if we start it again, there we go. Much better. Let's we'll stop here. So we go 87 balls of beer in the wall, 87 balls of beer. Take one down, pass it around, 86 balls of beer on the wall. And then it starts over again and continues. Well, what if we don't drink beer? What if we drink root beer? Easy enough. We're going to change this so that we pass in a string of our our choosing, and we are going to call this string, and we will call this the drink, and we will set that to args of zero. And I will show you how this works in a second. So if we put in, in here, we need to add a third parameter there for drink. Add a third parameter there, and add a third parameter here. So now, we modify our run configuration. I was kind of pointing at this a little bit earlier. Uh, delete that guy. Okay. Argument zero, root beer, apply, and run. Couldn't stop it early. So now we have 95 bottles of root beer on the wall. 
95 bottles of root beer take one down pass it around 94 bottles of root beer on the wall so you can change it and if you want to you could change it to milk you could change it to orange juice anything you want um well that's all nice and dandy but what happens if they have more than 99 bottles easy enough so we are going to change this and we'll go integer value of and we will do an args1 I will not go into making sure that it is an integer that they are passing in we can do that at our time so if we let's clear this so if we change our run configuration again and now we have an argument 500 it's crazy I know but hey maybe they're thirsty why and we'll run it as you can see now we're pulling in the 500 bottles to begin with so you can you know just some, some things you can switch around with the song a bit uh, to make it more to your liking and and now you can see how uh, we can easily um, output the uh, output the song programmatically and procedurally. So there you go. Enjoy coding and have fun. All right. Bye now.